A few months ago I made a video about this toy keyboard, the Yamaha PSS20. The sounds it makes are extremely primitive, but it was a lot of fun to play with, and so I've decided to use it again. Today I'm going to be playing Les Bouffons from Toino Arbo's Orchestography. This was a sword dance for four participants, and Arbo describes at length the various movements of the dance and the dancer's costumes, which included helmets of gilded cardboard and bells on their legs. My version is based on two of the arrangements from my latest books, which feature the music from Orchestography arranged for ukulele and for ocarina. The first section is a simple chord melody arrangement, and the second is in four-part harmony based on the version from Peter Warlock's Capriol Suite. As this keyboard can only play one note at a time, I've had to build the chords by recording each note separately and layering them together in the editing process. I've also made some adjustments to the timing of my performances, as the size and design of this keyboard mechanism make it almost impossible to play anything upbeat in strict tempo, and the melody in the final section was made an octave higher by recording it at half tempo and speeding up the recording. But aside from that, I've not made any other changes to the sound. The tune is in F major, and the melody goes up to a high D, which is one note outside the range of the keyboard, so I've used the transposition feature to play the melody in C and shift it up five steps. I've included the names of the various sounds in the relevant parts of the video, not that any of them sound even remotely like what they're called, but these are the names that the keyboard uses for each sound. I showed an early version of this performance to some musician friends to get their thoughts on it. One said they thought it sounded like old style video game music, another thought it sounded like the synth from the final countdown, and another said it reminded them of a group of crumb horns, so perhaps this isn't as strange an instrument for Renaissance music as I first thought. Please let me know what you think it sounds like in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos like this one.